Hello, this is Adam from Abdo Design Labs, and today we're going to take a character made in Photoshop and put them into Flash and show you how you can get them set up and ready to go for animation. So hopefully you know a little bit about Photoshop and Flash before you jump in this and start trying it. So I'm not going to go tell you about every single step that I'm doing. You're going to kind of have to follow along in that regard. So right now we are in Photoshop. I'm in my layers palette over here on the right hand side. And you'll notice that I have a whole bunch of folders and they're specifically named. Now if I go ahead and start turning on some of these uh, folders here, you're going to see that I make up a guy. So. Each of these folder sections is going to hold up a specific area. So right arm, torso, head, right leg, left leg, left arm. All right. So it makes kind of sense. Take them off. You can kind of see those sections. Now, each of these folders is broken down into some specifics of what makes up that area. So example for a right arm, we have a fur. We have a secondary version of fur. We have a forearm. We have the shoulder. There's a hand and there's a prop stick so all those elements are gonna make up my right arm now one little thing that I do because I have some anal retentiveness is I would like to number things and make it into a specific order so you will see as an example 01 right arm so anything that's part of this right arm I'm gonna put a 01 there and then if it's uh, the very first one the very top layer I'm gonna put an A right after that one B, C, D, E, F, and then the underscore and whatever it is. Now, I do have some extra layers that are going to be set up in my uh, PSD file here because I wanted multiple states. So, for example, you see his head here. Um, all right, I'll open all my layers here. His head is turned. Now, also, I want the head to just be looking forward. So if you could see, I could toggle between two states of the head. Now, how you set that up in animation is a, a really easy, cool way. So you can start using multiple states. When you get to a specific frame, you could use the head turn state instead of uh, that back hood state that you had just seen. So there's a way that you can switch between those, but you do have to have all the imagery set up first. So that's what this PSD file has done. So I've got everything set up ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and save my file here. And we're going to travel into Adobe Flash. Woo, this is going to be fun. All right, the very first thing we need to do is go into the library of our Adobe Flash. You'll see that here. There's nothing in here. Uh, I already have a setup here of the stage that I'm going to be working on. On this particular document, I'm going 1280 by 720. And you see this here in the properties. And my frame rate is at 30 frames a second. Now, I'm going to jump back over into Photoshop and just show you what my specifications were over there. Uh, if I go into my uh, image size, you're going to notice that my dimensions are seven, eight, or, uh, 1280 by 720. And um, I am working in a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. All right. So all I got to do now is go to File, Import to Stage. And then I just select my PSD that I had been working on. And since we already did the legwork of putting all the precedents of the layers in their specific areas, once you hit Open, it's going to bring up all the specific layers in the folders right here in this Import window. So you can go ahead and make sure that you have all your layers turned on. And since they're ready to go, I'm going to convert all my layers to flash layers and place the layers on their original position. OK, right when I hit OK, there is our image. And you're going to notice now in your timeline, everything has already been brought in there for you. Everything is set up. OK, and they're not just their images, though. You'll notice this. So one thing that I am going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to each specific image and turn it into a graphic. Now that's going to take a little bit of time to do. So I'm not going to do it all for you right here, but I did want to show you a few things. First of all, I had some multiple states of the fur. So I'm just going to go into these multiple states and delete the sections out that I don't need the second state for. And I'm going to show you how you can manipulate that and start putting those states together. So that's going to be one thing that you're going to need to do. You're going to go in and you're going to delete those secondary states. So the first one I'm going to delete here is my secondary fur. Um, if I go down, I have these two flaps for this coat. So I'm going to take the second flap out go ahead and delete that guy. And I'm going to go down. And there's my head turned. I'm just going to keep that first head turned on there. And also this fur. I'm going to take out the second fur there. Okay, I just so I'm looking at only one state of the guy. It kind of helps you visually when you start 
mm-hmm. working with it. That's my kind of mind frame with it. So what I'm going to do in the rest of this tutorial is I'm going to show you how you can set these up into their graphics or symbols. And then in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get everything set up and uh, ready to go in the animation. So the very first thing that you would want to do is we ever have these are just pictures on the stage. And if I just go to my arrow tool, and select all these images you'll notice it just images this little gray box that surrounds it now it's not ready for animation they are in keyframes and you could put keyframe after keyframe and just start manipulating where these images are but that wouldn't be very efficient because we may want to use some tweens and use some other tactics to make these uh, images actually come alive so one thing that I am going to do is I'm going to go into this hood to give you an example of how this would work. Now since I'm working with this hood, you're going to notice that there is this little flap in the front and then there's a hood in the back. And that's going to be really hard when we animate to have both of those to have to worry about. So instead of having this flap floating outside of the hood, what I want it to be is a part of the hood. So I'm going to go over and again to my hood and I'm just going to delete that hood layer out. So there we go. We have a hood. So I'm going to go there, select it, then I'm going to hit F8 on the keyboard. Now what this is going to do, it's going to bring up my symbol, convert to symbol uh, menu. Now this particular symbol, what I want to create is a graphic. So I am going to go to my type and I'm going to select graphic. And in the name, I'm going to call it hood. Okay. Once I hit OK, you're going to notice that it doesn't look too much different, except for now when I select it, it is selecting has this little blue selection around it and that's just telling me that I've put it into some sort of a symbol and I can tell this because there's my symbol in my library now now the benefit to having a symbol is first of all you can see it right here this is how the hood sits when it's just a symbol sitting in the main timeline you can just see the hood right there now if I double click this hood and take close attention to here we're in the main scene double click the hood up it opens up this secondary area and it's saying, hey, we're in the hood now, we're in this hood's timeline. So this hood has its own timeline. It's like having little mini timelines of movies throughout your uh, whole animation. So now we have a lot that we could do to this hood. The very first thing I wanna do is I wanna get that flap on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer there and I'm gonna go grab my flap. Now since everything's all set up and I remember where everything is, it's gonna be in my head layer and there's my fur. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this back on the stage. I'm just going to line it up there so it's sitting where I want it to sit. So now I've just made a multi-layer in this uh, symbol. Now if I cl click on the scene, it's going to take me back, and there's my hood. It's just one piece. Oh, I'm always grabbing that damn stick. All right, grabbing this hood. It's just one piece. That fur is part of it now. Okay. So now if I go into this hood, one thing that I can do is put a secondary state to it because that's just the first frame of the hood. But maybe I want a second state where it's a head looking at me. So now I'm going to click this right here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to put insert blank keyframe. Now remember I had that head turned over here. So I'm just going to pull this into the equation now. So I have a head turned in this, uh, this hood state. Okay. Now if you grab this slider here, you're going to see there's two states. There's the first state and the second state. All right, if I go back into the scene here, you're going to see it's docked on that first state. Now if I go control enter, we're just going to be previewing what it would look like live in Flash. And there's nothing here. It's not flickering between states or anything like that. It's just stuck right there. Now, one thing that is pretty nice about this is uh, we can select which frame is showing whenever we want. So once we create a keyframe here, we select the graphic and we go over to our properties palette and we find our looping state. So when we go into our looping under options, you want to select the drop down and select single frame. Now when you put it on single frame, you have an option of what frame you want it to be docked on. Now if I put on frame 2, as you can see, it's going to dock now on the frame when he's looking at the camera. So I'm already done. I'm going to hit control enter and preview my movie. And as you can see, now he's looking at the camera. So you can see there's different states that you can manipulate and uh, show the, the viewer there by just clicking, clicking on this graphic and creating different keyframes and different uh, states there. So you can keep doing this. I'm going to go ahead and set up the rest of this character here. And then I'm going to show you a quick trick that we can do to create some effects uh, a little bit later on in our graphic in the next tutorial.